What's up everybody, my name is Alex Chung and today we are talking about the best lens that you should buy for video and more specifically the best video lens for Canon shooters like myself. If you don't know already, I run a video production company along with my wife and we film weddings and commercials for brands. And whenever we film, we almost always come back to the same lens and that is the Tamron 24 to 70 f 2.8. And this one is the G1 version. Tamron does have a newer version, the G2, and that is a little bit more expensive, but today we're gonna to be talking about this older version. Being that this is a 24 to 70 lens, it gives us so much variety when we're trying to get different types of shots. The 24 millimeter end is pretty wide and especially on a full frame sensor like the Canon 5D Mark IV, it's perfect for capturing landscapes or interiors when you're trying to show off a particular location. The 70 millimeter end is telephoto enough to get close up shots of details like the wedding dress, the flowers, food, shots or even small emotions on people's faces. And in between you have the 35 millimeter and the 50 millimeter, which both are great focal lengths. What's great about the Tamron version of the 24 to 70 is that it has vibration compensation, which is their version of image stabilization in the lens that you can turn on and off. The Canon 24 to 70 F2.8 Mark II actually doesn't have IS, which was one of the biggest deciding factors when I decided to purchase the Tamron lens. Whenever I'm shooting I almost never use a tripod because that's just not very useful for the way that I shoot weddings and shoot commercials. Image stabilization is super useful for weddings because you're always moving around and it gives you much better handheld shots. And when you combine it with a gimbal like how I do, the footage comes out even smoother. This lens opens up all the way to f2.8, which makes it really good for low light shooting. And sometimes on weddings, you never have really good consistent lighting um, and you might not have a good light source, which means means low light shooting is very important. And because the aperture opens up all the way, it allows you to get shallower depth of field, which makes your background a little bit more blurrier and companies and brands love that sort of look and wedding clients do as well. The aperture is also constant, which means that when you're zooming in and out on this lens, the aperture doesn't change, the lighting doesn't change. And unlike some of the beginner kit lenses where the aperture actually closes down as you're zooming in, the image gets dark. Autofocus is another feature that is super important, especially when it comes to video. And I'm happy to say that on the Tamron lens, it performs extremely well. Now, part of the reason is because of Canon's excellent dual pixel autofocus, which us Canon shooters definitely enjoy using that feature, but that doesn't take away from how well the Tamron lens performs. From my experience, it is quick and responsive, and it's also very accurate. I rarely ever have the lens hunting for focus or have it sort of pulsing and making that image look really really, really gross. But one downside of this lens is that it makes noise as it's autofocusing. All right, so this is a test of how loud the autofocusing is on the Tamron 24 to 70 lens. Right there. There's the autofocus sound. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Yep, there it is. It's not so loud where it's distracting people, but if you're using the audio straight from the camera, you're definitely gonna hear it in your footage. For me, it's not a big deal because on weddings, I record the audio separately. And for commercials, I rarely ever shoot audio. And if I do, it's also recorded separately. Really quick, if you wanna see how I record audio for weddings, leave a comment down below. Another small thing that I like about this lens is that it is weather sealed. In situations where it, it's lightly raining or it's kind of drizzling outside, I'm not really afraid of taking it out to shoot. Or if water accidentally gets splashed onto this lens, I'm not worried that it's gonna damage the internal parts of the lens. Now that being said, if it's pouring outside, I'm never gonna take any sort of electronics outside because that would be really stupid. But for lightly raining situation or any sort of like drizzle, I have that peace of mind when I'm shooting outside. Last but not least, the most important part of this lens, and I'm sure it's really important for most of you guys, is the price. Now, because Tamron is a third-party manufacturer, meaning that it's not made by Canon, this lens is considerably cheaper than the Canon version. And because this is an older version of the Tamron 24 to 70, that makes it even cheaper. And from what I've seen, you can get this lens used on eBay for anywhere from $350 to about $600. And if you want brand new, it's $750 on Amazon, links are down below below and compare 
compared to the $1,600 Canon version, it's much more budget friendly. If you're a beginner videographer, the best lens for video that you should get is definitely the Tamron 24 270 f2.8 G1. With everything that I said, the biggest question that I have for you guys is, would you buy this lens? Why or why not? Leave a comment down below. That's it for this video. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Ow. Bye.